Alrighty guys, this is part two. Again, there's a link below also if you don't have Horizon files to support the channel. Thanks again, guys. Let's get started. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Gadgets123. This is a continuation video of my first video, which was setting up the uh, Verizon Gigabit router. This is the second part, which is setting up the extender. A lot of people have been having issues. I've been looking online, uh, basically by pressing the WPS buttons and trying to sync it that way. It's a pain and it's very aggravating. So um, if you guys are having issues connecting it, check out this video. Now, if you haven't connected your router yet, please check out the video below. That's the first part. And again, this is gonna be a continuation of that video. And in fact, that video is gonna have this, but I wanted to kind of separate this uh, from the main video so you don't have to scroll to uh, all the way to wherever just to get to this part because um, basically you just want to set up the extender and you already have your router ready to go so as you could see here this is the only th one of the reasons i got my ro uh, my extender was because uh, i don't get the service all the way here so again my internet connection for my gigabit doesn't reach all the way here in fact it's not even here this is my uh cousin's uh internet connection so i've been using theirs and um it's spotty sometimes it, it, it's full service sometimes it goes down to two or whatever so I don't get a uh, really good service uh, in my office just because there's a couple walls. The, the office is actually outside the house. So it, uh, it, you know, the signal doesn't reach here that well. In fact, the signal for my gigabit is not even here. It, it's not even all, it's not even showing in my actual office. So that's a problem. Especially to set up the extender, as you could see, you got both of the devices here. Now, as per the instruction, it tells you to click here and then click here. And you're going to see a, a white and blue and then white and blue and then it's going to sync. They make it sound a lot easier than it really is. Sometimes the problem is sometimes you get a yellow light here and it doesn't connect and you have issues. So again, by using a network cable as so, we're going to be able to use it. Now, it doesn't matter what network cable you have. It could be yellow, blue, green, black. As long as the network cable and looks like this, you'll be able to use it on both sides. So uh, keep in mind, you if you get this package or you get one, uh, and you already have the other one, you're gonna get network cable. Again, it doesn't matter the color, all you have to do is just set it up. So what we have to do is first connect one side to the actual router, which is this one. So I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, I have the um, router back here. I'm covering just the information. This is the coaxial I don't use. Again, my service home is just basically internet service. This is the one that comes from the outside. Uh, this is the files line. That's why it is connected to, in fact, let me show you, the WAN. And on top are your LAN ports. So what I did was I plugged in the yellow cable that I showed you earlier into one of the ports. You can plug it into one, two, three, it really doesn't matter. But if you want to keep it uniform, uh, plug it into one and then plug it in on the uh, actual extender on one or plug it into two and then the extender onto two if you want to keep it uniform. So I plugged it into two, now we're gonna move on to the extender. Okay guys, so what I did on the extender right now is I plugged it into uh, LAN2. So they're basically connected on LAN2 uh, via the network cable on both devices. Now it's not plugged in, I'm gonna plug it in right now and I'll show you what's the next step. All right guys, when you plug it in, what's gonna happen is the light is going to turn, uh, turn uh, different colors. It might turn blinking white, might turn yellow it might do what it's doing right this minute let me kind of zoom out right here okay you know that it worked because this light is going to be solid now i already did this configuration earlier so i doubt it's going to do it again but uh, as you can see it's blinking now the, the you don't have to press the wps button which are these buttons right here as per the instructions, the network cable is basically doing all that for you. All you have to do is just plug in the network cable on the extender, plug in the power, and that's it. It's going to turn on, and it's going to start, start uh, changing colors, or it's going to be different colors. The button, as you could see here, once you see this button turn into a solid white, you are officially done, and you're ready to move on and move the extender to another location. So let's wait until it turns out uh, basically white, and then we'll move it around. Okay, guys, as you can see, uh, both of them are now solid white. Now, it did take me, a, I would say, about five minutes. Uh, not even, actually, I'm sorry. Two minutes, if so, uh, for this thing to turn solid white. It, it's, it's kind of started blinking uh, white, 
but now it's solid. Once you see that, you're basically done. You don't have to do anything else. Now, what we're going to do is basically unplug the network cable from the extender. Okay, now, don't get... Uh, this is what got, had me a little confused. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's a little bit hard to tell, but the, the light turned yellow. Now, if you look at the instructions, uh, which I'm posting now, yellow means that it's the device is too close. Now, the reason it turned yellow was because it, they are too close. But that doesn't mean you did anything wrong. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug it. So let's go ahead and unplug it. So here's the device. Now we're going to move it to the appropriate location. Now for me, again, like I told you guys, I want to plug it next to my... Um, let me turn on the lights here. I want it as close to the office as possible just because I need to be able to have fast internet in my location. So what I did is there is the actual extender. Now, you see how the light is solid white and it's not showing yellow? That means it's working, that means it's ready to go and you'll be able to use it. Now, don't get uh, don't worry about if it turns white like that and starts blinking or sometimes it turns yellow it uh, sometimes for some reason it I seen it turn yellow for a few and then it turns white again um, again don't worry about that I'm guessing it it's doing some updates or something but what we're going to do is test it out and see if it works I guess you guys could see hopefully you guys could see it it, it is uh, blinking white. Now let's go to the office. Now remember how we weren't getting any signals earlier. So let's see what happens now. All right, so we're back in the office. Let's see. Oh, here we go, here it is. Let's connect. Now remember before we weren't getting anything in regards to the actual connection as you could see right there but let's see let's connect and see what happens alrighty guys so as you could see I get full service um, it's right here pretty much well close to full service it keep jumping from full to uh, one less bar but as you could see compared to before where I didn't even see that N uh, N6B C9 uh, now I actually could see that uh, internet connection available in my actual office computer here now I had to stop the video just because I already had set it up so what I had to do is basically uh, forget this account like forget the um, the password for this and then retyped in the password again so it could connect uh, to uh, do the connection you see how this was my uh, other connection you see how low it drops to sometimes to pretty much one now my finally my uh, connection is a lot quicker have some lights. there you go now the lights do change. so as you could see it, it actually moving you know it was w well worth the investment that I did now again I need it just to you know edit my videos do a couple of other things and um, you know I definitely needed uh, that extra I, I couldn't take it anymore with the old service that I had yes I was playing paying a lot less than what, than what I'm paying now the problem was that um, I had to keep using the other internet connection, which was basically um, really bad. It was jumping up and down, and I, I was getting aggravated with it. So luckily now this one, it runs fast. I'll be able to do my work, edit my videos, check stuff online, post videos, do updates, and so forth. Hey, look, the digs. My dog, Digby. Um, so I'll be able to do a lot more things. But again, hopefully this video did help you guys out, guys. Uh, if it did, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, and leave a uh, thumbs up. It would be appreciated. Don't ask for anything else. I love when you guys leave comments, but if you could also include a thumbs up, um, please do so. Again, easiest way to set up your extender. Uh, e, I think it's the E3200 extender. I'm going to put that on the uh, video below. You don't have to do anything else. Oh, one quick thing that I forgot that it, it changes because you did this uh, uh, connection instead of the... Uh, WPS button, uh, uh, you know, pressing the button five seconds and then the other one. 
uh, what's gonna happen is the following I'm gonna show you right now alright guys before I go I want to show you this real quick yes the extender as you could see it has its own uh, username and password now when you do this procedure what's gonna happen is the extender is going to be using now your uh, routers username and password instead of using its own username and password as per the instructions so don't get confused with that you you know if you do it the, the, the regular way which is a WPS by pressing the button you're gonna see your router and then you're gonna see the extenders um, Wi-Fi connection if you could do it that way and if you want to have it that way that's fine I really didn't care much because again I needed to have access to the extender in my office so um, you know really doesn't matter as long as the connection is fast for me I'm happy with that but in regards to the extender here's from the manual from uh, Verizon uh, extender it says the files extender has an admin password that is different from the files router when the extender is connected to the router via the coax Ethernet or Wi-Fi the extender is assigned the password of the router at this time the extender doesn't have the ability to use the admin password of the rear label only uses the same password as the router so keep that in mind um, if you don't see the extender information on your um, Wi-Fi list it's because it uh, by using the network cable it's going to uh, use the uh, uh, actual username and password of your uh, router itself so quick note just in case you guys are going crazy trying to figure out why don't, why I don't see the extender username and password as per the instruction is because of what it says here alright guys again thanks for watching this video thanks for watching gadgets one two three like comment subscribe uh, Twitter Facebook Instagram again Twitter we're posting a lot of cool stuff this video helped you please let me know it went a little bit too long I wanted to go through everything um, in regards to how this thing was set up alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video take care guys